region in this bad boy, our four-wheel drive from Crikey Camper. We've been told that this area has some of the best beaches in all of WA and all of Australia. So we're going to be doing that and checking them all out. Okay, so today we are at Twilight Beach and this place is so beautiful. And the thing that inspired me to come here the most was seeing pictures of people jumping off a rock. Now, we've just realized that that rock is in the middle of the water and there has been a lot of shark sightings around here recently. Um, but this spot is just so nice. As we were driving in here, the surf along the coastline was just peeling off like beautifully. And then you've got another little surf spot just around the corner too. But we are going to probably go in for a little swim and uh, climb around these rocks. Beach is absolutely beautiful. The, the ocean is so clear. Online it was more pictures of the rocks behind me out over there. However, to get there is quite a bit of a swim and the other major issue is that this place is absolutely surrounded by great white sharks. <laughs> so there's a lot of warning signs. They've had uh, multiple sightings here very regularly. Somebody got bit on the bum here when they're floating in the pink flamingo. So I just don't think it's worth the risk going out there. Maybe you have the little boat if you're out there but you go out to those rocks and you jump off into the water which looks so much fun but what's more fun is keeping my legs and arms so I think I'm going to just stay in the shallows Grade 5 well, a little surprise for us. We thought this was a little 1.2 kilometer walk, but what is it, Shah? It's a grade five 3K walk. 3K return to the sound bar, but it says a grade five and very steep. And if you've seen our latest vlogs, we have been hiking lots of steep things. <laughs> and that's okay. Just start burning those legs again. Yeah. And then we get a treat at the beach later. Follow markers to the summit. Well, it is steep, but the footing is quite solid. It is granite, which used to be molten lava that came out of the earth and cooled slowly. Not got too much sand or rocks on it. It's just, yeah, pretty solid footing. So I think it gets a bit steeper than this further up, but for now it is good. <laughs> Not liking the look of this bit. Someone is having a struggle. Shall we guess who it is? Charlotte. Let's go and help her. I don't like looking that way. It's a straight drop. Why have they not put a chain here? You just got to find the ridges. But that means looking. And follow them. That's all you've got to do. Good Lord. I just need a minute. You need a minute. My body. What's going through your head? It's like the castle rock going to Skywalk. I just need a little while for my body to like, it's going like this. Like the compass and stuff. <laughs> just need it to settle in a minute. Are you an android? Yeah. Yeah. Blink your neck. I think I'm gonna have a little break from scary hikes for a while. So very interesting geological process how this came to be. The information sign at the bottom says that 1200 million years ago this mountain was born out of the earth from um, magma that cooled slowly to form this massive rock and then hundreds of millions of years later the sea level was about at the point where you get the caves at the top and that sea water just crashing against the rock has slowly eroded the uh, cave out and as the sea level has receded I'm guessing with the water being locked up in the um, in the poles and the ice then this mountain is left exposed for us to enjoy hundreds of millions of years later I always find it so interesting how these things are um, how these things come to be so we are now at the summit and the first one is like this half cave but you can actually go around to another cave so we're gonna go there now. I can hear people around there. Maybe that's the final stop.
Okay, so I think it's time to go back down now. Um, I was very nervous this morning, wasn't I, walking up here. I just get so nervy with yeah, those slopes. Yeah. And yeah. then when I'm around, when I just kind of stay on the height, I kind of get used to it and my compass goes like this. But I have to go back down now, but I might go on my butt. <laughs> Hopefully not um, slipped. But yeah, we're gonna go back down now and the weather has really improved. It was really overcast and now the coast looks like it's just in complete sun. So I reckon we're gonna go and find a beach. So we've just finished our hike at Freshman's Peak and now we're having a little sandwich break at Hellfire Bay. The weather is absolutely beautiful. The wind is a little chilly, but I think we're gonna go get changed up our hiking gear and go and have a little walk along Hellfire Bay because it looks so beautiful. The color of the ocean is insane. is so beautiful in there. You can't actually appreciate how clear the water is until you get right up there, but that's why it has that crazy blue color, I think, is because it's so reflective. It's just white sand reflecting the blue sky, but it's beautiful. A little bit rough today, but it's fun. Fun sized waves um, and not going too deep because of the sharky boys. Look at those waves though. Okay, we are gonna leave Hellfire Bay now. It is so beautiful. The water is just insane. The waves are going off, but we're gonna go to Lucky Bay. I heard there are some bouncy boys over there. All right, we are just heading down into Lucky Bay. Driving in, it looks spectacular, um, but we are able to drive on this beach, so we are gonna take our wheels down onto the beach. Looks like pretty firm sand. So, let's go, let's have a look. We are on Lucky Bay Beach and this is a four wheel drive beach. So we can drive on here and that is what we are doing. Everyone's just parked up, watching the ocean, hoping to see a kangaroo. Very excited, I was making lunch and then Bouncy Boy came. Okay. Yeah, Lucky Bay Beach. And we have a friend. I think he wants our food. <laughs> we have just pulled up on the side of the beach for a quick snack and then Two little bouncy boys came along. I think it's a mommy and a baby. The other one's a lot smaller. But they don't seem fussed at all with humans. People have gone past and just stopped and looked at them. People drive past. But apparently they're very used to humans, obviously, because so many people here come to the beach and they see them. You're not supposed to touch them or feed them. Just look at them. But I'm hoping they get closer. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. We've got enough in there right now. We have come to Wharton Beach. Yesterday on Instagram, I asked people what their favorite beach in WA is, and this one got gold medal. So many people said Wharton Beach and Little Wharton Beach, which is just over there. Um, I didn't realize it's actually a four wheel drive beach. So there's a lot of cars down there, but the ocean looks amazing. And the sand is the whitest sand I think I've ever seen. It's about one hour drive out of Esperance though. So it is a bit of a trip, but it's definitely worth it. We have come down to Little Wharton Beach and tried to pull up to a little spot just to set up and have a swim maybe. Um, but the sand is a little bit soft here, so I'm gonna have to drop the tire pressures. Number one rule when driving on sand, drop your tire pressures. Um, number two rule when you're driving on sand, if you start to get stuck, 
just stop spinning your wheels and make a plan otherwise you're going to dig yourself a very deep hole and now i'm just dropping the tire pressures to see if we can get out fingers crossed <laughs> is how you get unstuck. Just a little bit of tire pressure down, dig a little bit out and uh, make a little runway and off you go. And listen to your wife and she says that sounds too soft. Sometimes. <laughs> we are now driving down onto the main Wharton beach which is a lot bigger than Little Wharton and yeah definitely looks amazing and again this one is four wheel drive so obviously Corey is going to take the car down. We already let the tire pressures down, we've got to make <laughs> most of it now. This beach is so nice to drive on, it's so flat and smooth, um, it's quite a wide beach so I guess the tide comes in and the gradient is quite low um, but it is just beautiful. We're just going up the western end to have a little look up there um, before we probably will end up in the water <laughs> down at the eastern end. So little adventure first. So all the way up the end of Wharton Beach you have access to Victoria Harbour and is a little bit off-roady. Of course I'm going to be tempted. So we are on our way there now. It looks really cool. We've got rocks on the left, sand dunes on the right and uh, Victoria Harbour somewhere ahead. Well we're coming back we went on a different turn off and we've found ourselves at this little cove. Uh, it's really nice, there seems to just be some people fishing here but Corey thinks he might have a swim, it's a bit sheltered but the wind is really really cold Southerly Southerly wind, so I don't know if I'm big and brave enough for a swim Right, so from here you can see Wharton Beach It is huge! It goes all the way from that rock there all the way around to where we are now um, Wind is picking up here now so not sure if we're going for a swim. Okay, and here we are. We've joined the lineup. Everyone is down here at this end of the beach. And I am going to get in that water because it looks so clear. We have departed Cape Le Grand National Park now and we are back near Esperance at a place called Wiley Rock or Wiley Bay um, and we are looking for a little spot that looks like um, a sand bridge with a rock at the end of it so uh, wish us luck. <laughs> We just did some pretty cool sand driving down to this beach and just like I've seen in the pictures you've got two, uh, two bays separated by a rock and a little sandbar and uh, it's cool here! Woo Something that we are not prepared to do but many people do is obviously go up the rock here, Wiley's Rock. Um, yeah, there's tire tracks up there, we're not going to go up there but that's something if you're keen and you've got a rocky setup for four wheel driving, you can go and do that if you like. We were just leaving Wiley Bay and we knew that we we're going to pass the Lucky Bay Brewing Company, and we're actually just waiting all the afternoon to meet some family for dinner, so Corey thought, why not stop for a beer? And how can I say no? off. That's alright. Those potatoes are very naughty. They're big like boiled potatoes and they roast them and squish them. Put a load of salt and rosemary. They're flavour we chose. Very good but I don't know not much of a vibe. Yeah, not small vibe. vibe. Maybe the like music there would be nice. 